Granite Ridge Greens. We're going to let the turkeys out this morning. The chickens are uh, have been abated or in the freezer. Yesterday was the abatement day and I got a two short clips on it that I'll just put up separately. I still haven't edited anything. I don't have time. I don't know how all you people have time for YouTube. I'm going and going and going from morning to night. And with my back disability, it's becoming, uh, that's a lot harder on me than it is on most people. Look at the mosquitoes. Woo, doggy. <laughs> Lots of mosquitoes. Come on out, guys. Come on out. Yeah, come on out. Come on out and get some food. Yeah, that's the first day. Eh? Yeah. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on, turkeys. comes the turkeys. Let's hang this over here for now on the gate post and uh, get a look at what I'm filming here. Yep, they're coming out. Here he is. There's your food. He found her. Yeah, come on guys. Here they all come. Look at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's two more. Two more to go. This is their first time in the outdoors. I could I couldn't excuse me. I couldn't feed them with I couldn't put them out with the chickens. Because the turkeys are way too aggressive. And the chickens were eating each other, so we abated them right at eight weeks. It was exactly 61 days from uh, the day old uh, day old birds. <laughs> ah, you guys are happy, eh? Yeah. You got lots of foraging to do out here, buddies. Yeah, don't go in there. Don't go in there. Don't go in there. No, I got to clean up some stuff in here. Okay, so we'll come in here with all their mosquitoes and that's the door to the coop there's one just hanging around there um, I'll put this on the door so if they get in there they're really hard to catch really hard turkeys are hard to catch folks they're smarter than the meat birds and I'll, um, I've decided I won't be doing meat birds anymore um, not, not the uh, not the fast growing chicks, it's just, it's ridiculous. The amount of food they use, and without me foraging properly, this isn't going to stay. Has to give me a hard time on the day that I'm filming. Screwdrivers in the way. And I'm also getting eaten alive by mosquitoes on my legs too. But this is where we had the two yesterday, and I had to take them down to the back field. Um, the tin camp area and I dropped them off down there a little further out okay so um, drill whoa look at these mosquitoes wow just wow Mr. Turkey doesn't want to leave, but you're stomping, are you? Yeah, it's mosquitoes get outside, they won't bother you as much. Yeah, go out the door. I'm getting the same, I'm getting the same treatment with these mosquitoes. Yeah, you don't like them, do you? I'm not too thrilled about them either, but come on outside. Come on, out you go, out you go. Come on, out you go. Ow! A little low in here. 
this is almost full, so they have, they found it, but they're not really drinking. Because it's still three quarters full. The chickens were the chickens were doing this four times a day. All of this. Let's see if we can speed things up a little here. I'll leave that there. I'll bring you in here for a minute. This is the 12 by 8 that the chickens were in. Apparently I need the whole space, so this is should have all been chickens. From the divider, I gotta take the divider out, fix up the roof here portion that's missing, and uh, this will be all for chickens. But for now, the turkeys are staying in here. That's their water. That's the tits on the bottom. The uh, nipples on the bottom. They jab at them because they're silver. So I'm gonna close. I'm gonna close that back up because they'll be coming back in and out. And I'm getting just eaten by mosquitoes here. So there that stays like that. So again we'll be uh we'll be taking this area here right from about I'd say here and straight out over to close this gate with a foot on maybe where the skids are here and that whole area is going to be for the turkeys and then we'll get chickens later I think I'm going to get rustic rangers the abater uh, yesterday suggested they're an easier bird to uh, to raise they forage better you don't have to chase them every night like I did here back into the hut so yeah um, you guys got enough water I can take this back with me they've been using this four times a day so now they have the bigger water they got the one hanging inside and they got all this area right over to there they got about, uh, oh, I don't know. It took a hundred foot of fence, so it's out, what, about 60, 70 feet, over 30, and back up another 20 or 30 feet. And later, we'll be putting them over in that area and letting them clean up that area. And that's posted right out to the end of the long grass where the grass has been cut. Anyways, we're at eight minutes. I better get moving. Back up. <coughs> That's called swall swallowing mosquitoes. See how big they are? Let's see if we can get them beside my leg here and show you. They're right up. When they put their heads up, they're up to my waist, but their bodies are up to my knee already. And uh, they're eating quite well. We gave them double today because they, they're they a little hungry. They only got fed three times, two times yesterday because of the chickens being abated. So uh, we're going to leave them out to pasture for the day. They can go get their water there. They can go back in the spot if they want shade. A lot of mosquitoes in there right now. So for a couple hours they'll be shaded and they can always go back in anyways. We're gonna take a run back up. Oh, I'm getting caught here. I have to remove the camera from the tripod. And we'll get our butts moving. We'll go up, look at the uh, 
look at how many chickens there's 87 chickens in the freezer all clean feathered got it abated basically I like calling it abated instead of all this other stuff because that's what it is <laughs> again what a view eh that's a pile of crap from them and then there's the one that we've seen over there I've got to bring my machine and move all this but like I said they're going to be in this area next okay back down we go as you can see they have a huge area here and that took a lot of work with 11 discs on my back it doesn't make it too easy yesterday nearly uh, did me in too running back and forth with almost 90 chickens well count 90 if I took the three that I took back into the bush that they killed some people eat them I don't eat uh, something that's been damaged it's not worth the risk could be something in the meat could have been a sick bird anything like that anyways back up into here right then Shut her down, Bubba. Shut her down. And let's go have a look at the uh, chicken in the fridge, in the freezer. Oh, I'm lagging today. It's after 10 o'clock. I should have been out here at 8 o'clock. But, uh, oh no, we got music playing. Don't listen to the music. YouTube will freak out if you listen to the music. Don't listen to this stuff. No, you're not hearing anything in the background but Ken's voice till we get this shut off because they uh, do the stupid uh, music thing. What's that called? Anyways, there's all the chickens. Freezer's almost full. Um, the average size is about three and a half to four pounds see my hand oh lots of mosquitoes in here too and they're and they're getting frozen finally it's gonna take another day for them to fully freeze up and the seal on here was a little bit loose so I backed off somebody put the last owners were kinda not too bright and uh, they cut off the lid and cut off the light right here there's the light wire they cut that off to take the lid off so now I got no light but anyways they adjusted the hinges wrong so I readjusted those we can turn off that light we don't need that light on anymore and uh, yeah I'll turn the radio on after so that's our chickens in the freezer there's 87 in the freezer we had one for dinner last night and uh, because of the chickens, it's what, July 11th, we still haven't got our tomato plants in and they're looking a little bit ratty because they need, uh, they need nutrients, so I gotta run to North Bay to pick up some supplies today for the farm and get some more food for the turkeys, but uh, these have all gotta go in, there's over 600 plants here, and as you can see, they're huge. There's already peppers growing on here. Lots of flowers growing, good sign. See, tomato flower. And the bees are coming in and out. And they're pollinating this, but it needs to be in the ground. See the bottom leaves? That's nutrient deficiency right there. And over watering too, because we've been watering the hell out of them. Okay, what are we at? 14 minutes, we better get moving here. This was the chickens area, and then we had the medical under here, medical marijuana under here, and we just got to clean the room up again. Maybe open that window here again. See how my windows open? You can turn them up and open the tops. Nice when it's raining, you can still have them open, or you can open them all the way like that. Really good windows in this house. Somebody spent some money on this. Here we'll change our shoes from the stinky coop shoes. 
this is where we fill our water. I just gotta come over here and open this window too. Again, it does the same, opens this way. This is where I've been filling the water in jugs like that. See, that's the stinky shoes. There's holes in them and everything, but they do good for going out there. And we also put, I think, a couple chickens in here. Nice, nice job on the chickens. Did you see the way he bagged those? Very professional. I don't think the abater would have done as good a job as what he did. So that's our freezer, frozen milk. And uh, these are our ring of fire peppers. And that's another 48, I think it's in there, that have to go in another spot. Some spices that she's transplanted into some nice brass pots. So we got that to go. The onions are still growing. Onions and chives, so they got to go in. They got bulbs about the size of my finger in there already. And uh, if we got time, yeah, we're still recording. See, Cardi's butter machine. That's an old butter maker, cream separator butter maker with the handle and everything. Anyways, go downstairs. This is the stuff I'm going to use when I get to it for um, microgreens and uh, medical marijuana on the other side of the basement so I can clear this out from all this junk from the kitchen that come down here. And now the table's free. Most of the plants that I grew were male. That's a 600 watt transformer plugged into the socket. Here's the wedding cake. Doing quite nicely. Very nice. Buds are uh, exponentially growing huge here. And then you have this other plant that I planted the seeds from. I got six females and they're starting to bush up nice too. That's nice. Really nice. Right on. Look at that. Beauty. Okay, so we're going to disconnect this. Granite Ridge Greens. Peace out. Catch y'all later. I got work to do, folks. Bye to the 600 watt and the nice buds that are growing in here. Granite Ridge Greens, over and out.